In this problem, we're told that we have a scale model of a net for a cylinder. And we want to find the volume of the cylinder and the surface area of the cylinder. Uh, well, this is a great problem because the, a net is basically a 3D shape, right? The surface area cut up and unfolded. So that means you could take this shape right here and fold it up and it would form a cylinder. And you can almost see it because right we have these two ends which are circles on a cylinder and then here we have the two ends and this rectangle in the middle might seem confusing at first but the lateral surface or middle part you can say of the rectangle of the of the cylinder this area right here the lateral surface is this rectangle because the rectangle is being closed up and wrapped around right the circumference of the top and the bottom so really this is a cylinder so we want to do two things here, and that's to find the volume and the surface area. I'm actually going to start with the, the surface area, because it's all you're doing in surface area is finding the area of the net that you're given. So here, all I have to do is, is find the areas of these two circles, right? add them up, and then add it to the area of this rectangle. So let's do that. What is the area of this rectangle? Well, the height, you might not be able to count it, but I can it here. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And here, this distance, right? Well, what is it? We, we can count. So we can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So the rectangle in the middle here is 19 by 6. Right? 19 times 6. Well, I know that, that 6 times 10 is 60, and 6 times 9 is 54. Add up 60 and 54, and you get 114. So this, this area in here is 114 square centimeters. The circle here has a radius of 3, 1, 2, 3. The radius is 3. So the area of the circle, right, to find the area of a circle, that's pi r squared. So we multiply pi by 9. Radius squared is 9. Now, this circle over here is also 9 pi, or pi times 9. And to find the total surface area, I want to add up all those numbers. So 9 pi plus 9 times pi plus 114 centimeters squared. And these are also, I should say, these are also in units of centimeters squared. So how do you add 9 pi and 9 pi? Well, this means you have 9 pi's and 9 more pi's. So how many pi's is that that's 18 pi's? So 18 pi plus 114 right, centimeters squared. If you had to simplify this, we can combine now by estimating pi as about 3. It depends how you estimate it, of course. But, but here they don't request a specific estimation, so I'm going to use 3. 3 times 18, well, 3 times 10 is 30. 3 times 8 is 24. That's 54 square centimeters. 54 plus 114 is 100, right, and 68 square centimeters. It's an approximation of the surface area of the shape. And all I'm doing to find the surface area is adding up right, the two circles on the ends, those two faces, and the lateral surface in between. The volume um, here, we're going to use the height of the, the cylinder, and the height is right here. It's equal to 6. So this height right here is 6, and the radius is 3. So to find the, the volume, what do we do? Well, we find the area of the circle at the base. That's pi r squared, and multiply it by the height. So we're finding stack after stack of this area on the base with a height of 1 that fit into this whole cylinder. So that's, when we plug in here, 3 squared is 9, and 9 times h, well h is 6, and that's 54, oops, sorry, 54 pi. All I did there was plug in 3 for the radius, square it to get 9, and plug in 6 for the height, multiply 6 by 9 to get 54. So the volume is 54 pi cubic Right, centimeters. But they may ask you to estimate. Um, here, if we estimate pi as 3, we get about 162 cubic centimeters. Right, 3 times 154 is 162. So you can estimate this as well. Alright, hope this helped.